Hello and welcome to our virtual prize event. I'm David Blevins and I chair the Board of Governors at Kalauna. If anyone had told me this time last year when we had to cancel our prize night that we wouldn't be able to meet in person this year, I wouldn't have believed them. But so much of the last 15 months has been unbelievable. It was Albert Einstein who said, in the middle of difficulty lies opportunity. Well, we've certainly faced difficulty. A global pandemic, recurring lockdowns, ever-changing restrictions. But I happen to believe that in the middle of it, we've recognised the opportunity to do things even better. To learn new skills that equip us for the future, whatever that future holds. So on behalf of the Board of Governors, I want to say thank you. Firstly, to the principal, vice principals, year heads, heads of department and all staff, teaching and non-teaching, for the contribution you make day in and day out, but particularly for your adaptability to change time and time and time again. Secondly, to our parents and guardians, you've had to make so many sacrifices and commitments to ensure that the young people continue to learn and to grow and develop as citizens of society, even when they haven't been in school. And although we've made every attempt to open as quickly as possible on each occasion, we really appreciate that partnership with you. And thirdly, and most importantly, to our young people, without you there is no clowner. But we know you've lost out on so much of the experience of junior high school. You've not been able to enjoy the practical elements of subjects like music and art and science and technology and home economics, or to enjoy PE and all of the extracurricular activities that were suspended for so long. But despite all of that, we hope that you have discovered something about how special a place Kalauna is, and if you're in your 10, that you'll take some of that with you on the next stage of your journey. Each one of you is unique, fearfully and wonderfully made and filled with potential. And it's our hope and prayer that that will be realised. So in this year of difficulty, let's take this opportunity to celebrate all that you have achieved and all that you will achieve in the brighter days that lie ahead.
For over six decades, Clarna Junior High School, Portadown, has developed as a unique community where success is celebrated and endeavour rewarded. I thank everyone who has strived to develop the Clarna School ethos. That is, to develop a climate of mutual care and respect in a community that seeks to meet the physical, intellectual, social, emotional and spiritual needs of every pupil. Never before has this sense of community and togetherness been tested as much as it has been in the last period of time since the first lockdown in March 2020. The challenges during this period of dealing with the impact of the coronavirus COVID-19 are unprecedented. During this period, I am very thankful to all Board of Governors in Clowna Junior High School for their time, of which they give freely, and their support, guidance, advice and endurance as monthly Board of Governors meetings continued via webinar. Members of the Board of Governors, on behalf of the pupils and staff of the school, I thank you for the contribution that you make, the impact of which will be felt in countless lives for years to come. I would like to take this opportunity to thank pupils for their positive response to all the challenges they have encountered both inside and outside of school. In school, they have had a bubble classroom to be in each day, staggered starts, staggered breaks, staggered lunches and staggered finishes to the school day. They have had to navigate two lockdowns with remote learning at home. Thanks must go to all parents, carers, relatives and friends who assisted pupils with Google Classroom and work at home. I look forward to a normal school start this September, as we would have been used to pre-COVID-19. I want also to acknowledge the excellent response to these challenging times from teaching and non-teaching staff in Clarna Junior High School. I would like to publicly pay tribute to all staff in all of their diverse roles for the vital work that they do. This work translated into the continuity of learning and teaching for all young people throughout the pandemic. It is the quiet day-to-day -day work of curing, supporting, encouraging and reassuring individuals that has benefited numerous young people in ways that we never see and that can never be quantified. To all staff who have worked tirelessly through these very challenging times, I thank you sincerely. At the end of this academic year, we have three members of staff that are leaving us. Mr. Jim Carson, PE, History and Maths teacher, Head of Year 10 Boys and Attendance Coordinator, is retiring after 35 years working in Clowna Junior High School. I thank Mr. Carson for his time in Clowna his commitment to extracurricular activities, and in particular, to the development and progression of midweek and Saturday morning rugby. Mrs. Catherine Beatty is leaving us as head of Maz and Numeracy. I thank Mrs. Beatty for all that she has contributed to Clarna Junior High School after fulfilling her duties in this role for the past five years. Mrs. Sandra Truesdale is retiring after 27 years as a classroom assistant in Clowna Junior High School. Thanks go to Mrs. Truesdale for all the help and support she has provided for all young people in her care over the last 27 years. Best wishes to Mr. Carson, Mrs. Beatty, and Mrs. Truesdale as they leave the Clowna Junior High School community and move on to the next phase in their life. I want to congratulate and extend my best wishes to all young people leaving us at the end of Key Stage 3 and Key Stage 4. These pupils have responded in very difficult circumstances and developed many personal skills and qualities which will serve them well in life. As can be seen from the subject cups, 
shields and trophies to be awarded, the commitment, hard work and endeavour from pupils receiving these is to be commended. We are only able to present a limited number of sports awards because of the restrictions in place this last year, not allowing the full range of extracurricular activities to take place. I look forward to a return to school as it was before the coronavirus COVID-19 and young people experiencing the full range of subjects and all extracurricular activities that we in Clarenet Junior High School can offer. Thank you for taking the time to view our prize evening online. And once again, congratulations to all young people on the awards they are about to receive. Price Day marks the drawing to an end of one school year and the beginning of something new. I want to borrow the words of Dr Seuss to wish all our students well as they move to new schools or start a new school year here. Congratulations, today is your day. You're off to great places, you're off and away. You have brains in your head, you have feet in your shoes. You can steer yourself any direction you choose. You'll look up and down streets, look them over with care, about some you will say, I don't choose to go there. With your head full of brains and your shoes full of feet, you're too smart to go down any not so good street. Oh, the places you'll go. You'll be up and away. You'll be seeing great sights. You'll join the high flyers who soar to high heights. You won't lag behind because you'll have the speed. You'll pass the whole gang and you'll soon take the lead. Wherever you fly, you'll be the best of the best. Wherever you go, you will talk all the rest. You'll get mixed up, of course, as you already know. You'll get mixed up with many strange birds as you go. So be sure when you step, step with great care and great tact. And remember that life's a great balancing act. And will you succeed? Yes, you will indeed. You'll move mountains. So be your name Buxom or Bixby or Bray or Mordecai, Ali, Van Allen, O'Shea. Today is your day, your mountain is waiting, so go get on your way.
we will begin with the sporting achievements for 2020-2021. The first year champion girl athlete goes to Faith Ritchie in 8AW. The first year champion boy athlete is jointly won by Zach Mullen in 8BR and Levi Kennedy in 8BY. Next we move on to the second year champion girl athlete and this year it goes to Kirsty McCrory in 9EW and the second year champion boy athlete goes to Thomas Hall also in 9EW. Next we have the third year champion girl athlete and this year it goes to Beth McBurney in 10IB. And the third year champion boy athlete goes to Ben Walker in 10JW. Next we have the Anderson Cup, which is given to the overall champion girl athlete. And this year it is awarded to Kirsty McCrory in 9EW. Then we have the Hair Cup, which is given to the overall champion boy athlete. And this year it goes to Ben Walker in 10JW. And finally, we have the Jackson Cup, which is awarded for excellent in boys athletics. And this year it has been won by Alex Gribb in 10JB. Next, we move on to the academic achievements for 2020 2021. These prizes are awarded to the top student in each class. So in year eight, in 8AB, the top student was Danielle Kelly. In AR, the top student was Eva Todd. In AW, the top student was Samantha Takina. In AY, it goes to Melissa DaCosta. In 8BB, it was awarded to Emily Stewart. In 8BR, Michaelina Ziegel. In 8BW, Madison Steenson. In 8BY, Marcel Petricolon. In 8C, Mimi Gates. And in 8JC, there were two winners, Mackenzie Culbert and Megan Williamson. Next, we have the year nine prize winners and the top student in 9EB was Grace George. In ER, it was Natalia Vancia. In EW, Ethan Clocken. In EY, Adita Das. In EZ, Lucy King. In FB, Tia Thompson. In FR, Shelby Gray. In FW, Clodo Schultz Gilmore. In 9G, Bailey Watson. And finally, in middle class, again we've joint winners Jack Donaldson and Alexander Coulter. Our final class prizes go to the year 10s. The top student in IB was Jack Ferguson. In IR, it was Caitlin Cornett. In IW, Rachel Motes. In IY, Amber Topping. In JB, Grace King. In JR, Taylor Ruddock. In JW, Clarice Halliday. In JY, Armandas Maslobojev. In K, Andre Rosado. And in senior class, Adam Oaks. The next prizes are awarded within practical subjects. This year within home economics, the top student prize in year eight was awarded to Abigail Parks in AR. In year nine, 
It was awarded to Natalia Vancea in 9ER. And in year 10, to Olivia Weir in IB. Next, we move on to technology. The top pupil in year eight was Danielle Kelly in AB. The top pupil in year nine was Jean Mullen in EB. And the top pupil in year 10 was Beth McBurney in IB. Next, we move on to art and design. And the top pupil in year eight in art was awarded to Sarah Jean Newport in AB. In year nine, it was awarded to Jane Mullen in EB. And in year 10, Daniel Owen in IB. Our next award is given to the most improved international pupil. And this year, it has been awarded to Alexa de Brin in 10K. We next have our records of achievement, which are records which are given to young people who are finishing their time within Kleine. And this year within the senior class, the following pupils have been given their records of achievement. Ryan Hobson, Jack Hughes, Billy Merchant, Joel Murphy, Miguel Sousa, Stephen Thompson, Demi Lee Fulton, Rebecca Goodfellow, Elise Rock, Tracy Rogers, and Amy Lee Sterrett. These young people will be moving on to the next stages of their education and we wish them well. Next, we move on to the academic prizes, which are prizes awarded from each subject. The first cup is the Millennium Cup, which is given for excellence in English. And this year, it has been won by Erin Wall in IB. Next, we have the Gracie Cup, which is for Endeavour in English. And this year, it was won by Amber Topping in IY. The Leslie Irwin Shield is awarded for engagement with reading. And this year, it has been won by Elsie Allen in ER. Next, we have the Gilliland Cup, and it is awarded for the most promising student in maths. And this year, it goes to Jack Todd in IB. Next, we have the Donaldson Cup, which is for endeavours within maths. And this year, it is awarded to Caitlin Crossley in JB. Next, we have the Science Cup, which is for academic excellence in science. And this year, it goes to Jack Ferguson in IB. Then we have the Science Shield, which is for endeavour in science. And this year, it is awarded to Terry Woods in JB. The Normandy Cup is for excellence in history. And this year, it has been jointly won by Darcy Robinson in IB and Jack Ferguson, who is also in IB. The History Shield, which is for Endeavour in History, is awarded to Terry Woods in JB. The Hampton Cup, which is for excellence in French, has been awarded to Jack Ferguson in IB. The Geography Cup, for excellence in geography, goes to Jack Todd in IB. The Wilson Cup, which is for commitment and endeavour in girls PE, has been won by Beth McBurney in IB. The Francis Neal Cup, which is for excellence and commitment to technology, has been awarded to Rebecca Kelly in IW. The D.L. Watson Music Cup, 
is awarded for outstanding contribution to music. And this year, it has been awarded to Darcy Robinson and Tom Guy, both of which are an IB. Next, we have the Gordon Spears Cup for the most promising music student in year 10. And this year, it has been awarded to Chloe Buckley in IB. The Turner Trophy, which is for outstanding contribution to art, goes to Katie Fleming in IB. The Linda Robinson Perpetual Cup for personal achievement within the Learning Support Centre this year goes to Tracy Rogers in Year 12 Senior Class. The McClure Cup, which is for outstanding achievement, goes to Darcy Robinson in IB. The Cage Cup, which is for endeavour and participation, has been awarded to Amber Topping in IY. The Humphreys Cup for academic achievement has been awarded to Jack Ferguson in IB. Next, we have the School Shield, which is presented to both our head boy and our head girl. And this year, our head girl is Beth McBurney in IB. And her head boy is Joel Court in IB. Next we have the 